Hello everyone and welcome to Heidi's Home. I've been a little under the weather here recently, but today I'm back to it and I am cleaning my kitchen. My kitchen has been in need of somewhat of a deep cleaning, so that's exactly what we're gonna to do today. We are going to get deep cleaning. As you can see, we're getting the power tools out and we're getting serious today with the deep cleaning. Hi guys, it's Heidi here. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It is a beautiful day out today. I mean, beautiful out. And so I'm gonna take advantage <laughs> and I am gonna actually clean my kitchen thoroughly today. I am praying that I can get it done today. I wanted to get it done yesterday. I just was not feeling up to par yesterday, but today's the day because it is Friday here and you will be seeing this. No, it's not Friday, it's Thursday. <laughs> you all will be seeing this on Friday. It is Thursday. And so with that being said, because it is Thursday, you will be seeing this on Friday. So actually, I'm getting ready for the weekend and there is nothing like having a clean slate in the kitchen. So I'm gonna get in there. I've got my oven to scrub out, my range top to scrub, the counters to wipe up, things to put away. And yes, and then tonight, um, it is my understanding that my father-in-law is bringing over some steak this evening and we're going to have some steak for dinner. So I've got like three ears of corn in the refrigerator that was given to me this week and I thought we could have that and I'll make some uh, potatoes to go with it. So we're going to have a really good dinner and a great end of the day today. So, but first I got to get to work. So I'm going to get in the kitchen, get the kitchen all cleaned up. And I'm going to take you along with me and let's, uh, hopefully you guys will feel motivated and inspired today. Well, let's get straight into it. You guys know the very first thing I do is the dishes. For whatever reason, if I do the dishes, I am motivated to move forward and to tackle all the things that I'm not really looking forward to doing. And here I am putting away all those dishes. So I'm making sure they're dry, pots, pans, plates, bowls, silverware, cookware, everything. I'm just putting it all up and putting it where it needs to go. And you know what? I'm grateful when I do a process all the way through. You know, when you start a project and you don't finish it, it doesn't really feel like you did it. So I like to complete the process all the way through. Now we're getting into cleaning that stove. Look at that mat. Oh, awful. I'm a little embarrassed by my stove right now. I'm using the almighty pink stuff and I'm giving it a good lather in there. I find this stuff works really, really well. I've got a lot of stuck on stuff on the glass on the inside of my oven and honestly wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it off and I decided to plug in my handy dandy steamer and thankfully I did because I'm telling you it really did the job. I'm not sure if you can see the stuff that's on here but when I used my scraper on there and I really doused it good. I got every single thing that was caked onto that glass completely off. And I was so proud of that job that it got done. Now you have to get in there. There is no easy way to clean a stove. I'm sorry, but there is not. It's just a lot of elbow grease, a lot of standing on your head, and a lot of scraping, cleaning, and I love my steam cleaner. If you're wondering where I got it from, I actually bought it from Aldi like two years ago. And I really love it. I use it on everything. Now I'm giving that inside mat a good scrubbing and putting it back in there. That's a good feeling to have that done. And now I'm steaming the top of my stove and you can see the debris flying out of there everywhere. It was pretty awful. As you guys know, I do a lot of cooking, so the kitchen takes a good beating. 
I'm just using an all-purpose cleaner on the top. I'm putting the ranges back together. And I kind of missed some footage. I did do the sides of the stove. I did this side of that cabinet and I hated that my camera went out on me and you missed that because it was filthy dirty and I got it amazingly clean. I've got this little cart that I kind of caddy things together and I gave it a wipe down. And now it's time to do something that I have been putting off. This window is super hard to clean because to when you look at it, it just seems like a regular window when actually it sits way back in. So you're kind of straddling the sink the entire time that you're cleaning this. And it is on a second story on the outside of the house. So it is very, very hard to keep clean and to keep debris and stuff out of it. So I'm using my steam cleaner. I'm also using some foam glass cleaner, microfiber cloths, and I'm realizing that this, <laughs> this is not an easy job, but you know what? I did the best that I could in getting it all clean. I got in there with that steamer. It got all the junk and everything out of all the little crevices. And then of course I ended up going outside and even though I didn't have a ladder outside, I used uh, basically, you know, put a microfiber cloth on my Swiffer and cleaned. I came back inside and I wasn't really happy with it. So I ended up going back outside and doing it again. There I am doing it again and it looks so much better. So now I'm just doing a quick steam on the outside of my cabinets because stuff gets caked on very heavily on the top cabinets. I think it's because of where I fry food. And so if I have my steamer out, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna run it on there and give it a good wipe down. Now I'm gonna sweep. And now I'm gonna get out my Lavender Scented Fabuloso, which I absolutely love. I'm using my Spin Mop, and you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Spin Mop. I'm just gonna quickly give this a good dousing and a good clean, and that is gonna be pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're motivated, and thanks for watching.